Hi, my name is Ricky Pointer, just in case you're new here, from the Vsauce Street channel. Today, I am going to be reacting to Could You Survive the Movie Season 2, A Quiet Place from Vsauce 3. I do not know what the episode looks like. I haven't seen it at all. I've seen the half a second of the trailer that I'm in, telling Jake to stop. That's all I know. I'm nervous, very, very nervous. The full episode is 20 minutes long, so if you are a subscriber of mine who hasn't seen it, I'll have it linked down below. I'm only going to record or react to my part, so we're not gonna watch the whole thing. So uh, let's get to the reaction part, and then I'll explain a little bit about how it all went on at the end. Also, if you're new here and wondering, why is this deaf woman wearing headphones? Like, why? I do actually have a video on why deaf gamers and the like wear headphones and also a video about my hearing, my residual hearing. I will link those either up above, down below, or both, so check those out. If you're here from Vsauce 3, welcome and I hope you enjoyed the episode. And now I'm gonna go... Oh man, we're gonna go see. Did I mention this is two days before my birthday? This comes out two days before my birthday, so happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm so scared. I'm not ready. I told myself I wasn't gonna put on makeup because I know I'm gonna cry. I'm already starting. Okay. All right, let's do this. I know I said I was only gonna react to my parts, but um, there's my TV husband and there's my TV child who I never met. I feel like a terrible mother. I never got to meet him on set. Poor child. It, my child's gonna, I let my child die and I haven't met him. He's gonna die, isn't he? Okay. <laughs> am I right? Oh, a bundle of laughs. But this one is uh, pretty laugh. Jake's a beautiful man. I'm just gonna say that right now. I have, I'm not scared to say that. He's a beautiful man. <laughs> Jay, you got our child killed! <laughs> Not again! We need to find a quiet place. But what is the quietest place? <sighs> that is the sounds of our body. The blood pumping through your veins. Your eyes blinking. The fabric on your clothes when you move. We are always surrounded by sound. If you ever, if you ever know dead people like me, granted I had much better hearing a long time ago, there was still hearing loss, but I still had better hearing uh, when I was younger, uh, but a lot of us, especially on deaf Twitter and Instagram, we're always very surprised and very concerned, and you'll, you'll see tweets and we're like, you mean this thing here makes sound? What is, it becomes this whole thing where I'm like, what? Even though like I know scientifically, Practically if they make sound, that's just how that works. Still, we're all just like, what? So funny. <laughs> that's my house. That's my house. Oh my god. I don't know what I look like in this. <laughs> I just hope the signing's in frame. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Wow. That's me. I don't look too bad in there. The signings. I feel like they probably could have zoomed out on the signing bits a little bit so it was a little bit more clear to see. You watch my uh, Film Friday series uh, with the videos that talk about the ones where there's like deaf involvement, deaf characters, the sign language, things like that. A lot of the times, hearing people, they don't really record 
the signing. They don't really film the signing in frame well enough. And they d it happens in the actual Quiet Place movie itself as well. And a lot of us are like, you, we need, if you're going to do the signing, if you're going to film the signing, you need to show the signing. You know, don't leave uh, signing deaf people out. But, oh God. I already look at it and I'm like, man, there's things I could have done better, but... So some people are probably going to be surprised that we switched from signing to talking for specifically for the science part and that's simply because uh, I, I'm not fluent in ASL and even if I was I don't even understand the science in English here <laughs> so there's no way I was going to be able to try like that and even my interpreter and I, we were uh, reading it and we were just like, yeah, I don't know what the hell this is talking about. So we're just going to read it right off the teleprompter. English is my first language. I grew up speaking uh, English. So, you know, it's just, it was it's just that way. Reading that was very awkward for me though, because I, I just kept feeling like I was going to mess it up. Some earplugs or some unplugged headphones and put your hand on your device's speaker. We'll play four sounds. Guess what they are and then we'll visually reveal each one. Huh? So I have Alienware headphones and I have it uh, customized in the little uh, software. So bass is up and voice clarity is up. So the sound is you know, special for me. So it's very interesting to uh, listen to this because I can actually feel the vibrations in my eardrums because of how I have it set up. I hear deep tones better than I hear uh, high pitched. I'm pretty uh, severe to profound when it comes to high pitched and deeper is better for me although I'm, it's all gone it's all mostly gone <laughs> okay so now that we've experienced sound by feeling it can we experience sound by seeing good question i'll be right back ricky <laughs> here we have a speaker that i'm going to cover in different i don't remember that part i don't think i knew he said that do did we did i know that i don't even remember Wow, how genuine my reaction was there. <laughs> I want to play that again. That was funny. <laughs> Good question. I'll be right back, Ricky. Here we have a speaker that I'm going to cover in different substances to help show the physical vibrations generated by sound. You know, you can come with me if you want. It could be a great help. Thank you, and I will. Safety first, Ricky. <laughs> no, you can save yourself, Ricky. I got this. Come on! Hearing people. Can't let y'all roam by yourselves. <laughs> oh god, why Jake? Why? That wasn't as embarrassing for me to see myself as I thought it was. Ah, it's so much different when you you don't, you don't have control over how others film you and know what you look like, and I had no idea what it looked like except for a couple photos. Uh, don't know. <laughs> so, oh man, there's a, there's a couple of things I wish I could have done differently with like facial expressions and stuff like that. But I think 
you know, everybody's like that when they watch themselves on a project. So let's talk about what happened, right? You know, uh, I was in a, I, I was feeling very down about uh, YouTube and stuff back in December. And just one day I got a Facebook message from Jake. We, we met years ago at Buffer Festival. We were both at the, uh, or we were both on the science and education panel in 2015, I want to say, we met. And, you know, I just got a face, I just got a Facebook message that said, hey, what's your email? You know, I want to talk to you about something or something. And I, I gave him my email and it was basically just said, hey, do you want to be on a Quiet Place episode of Could You Survive the Movie Season 2? And I have been a fan of the show since season one. And, you know, I, I love Jake. He's one of my favorite people. And so I'm going to start crying while I'm talking about this. But, you know, it's just like, holy moly, I can't believe it. You know, I've always wanted to be in a YouTube original as well. I thought that would have been one of the coolest things ever. So to be a part of this and for A Quiet Place, because I obviously dead person, <laughs> right? You know, it's just, oh, man. And, you know, of course, with everything that's been going on with the world, I was uh, a little bit hesitant about it. You know, but I was just like, man, for one, people got to work. But also, um, I was just like, man, this is like a dream come true. Like, I can't believe, you know, for one, th th this man is like, we need actual, you know, we need a deaf person, you know, in this. Well, even though Evelyn, Evelyn Abbott is a hearing woman, but, you know, regardless, whatever. It was just, you know, it was really nice. He's thinking, okay, we get a deaf person to be part of this. Uh, someone who actually knows ASL, or at least enough to cover the script. <laughs> enough to cover the script. Not the science part, obviously, but, you know, the conversational part. So, I, it was all a very last minute thing, and, I uh, God, it was, it was so much fun. And it had been years since I had been on a set, so. And everybody was so nice. I uh, got an interpreter, and it, it took a minute to get into the groove of things. Because, you know, obviously Jake is speaking to me. And so I'm trying to follow on. He was, he was, I, would, I wasn't able to hear him very well. And the interpreter obviously could not be like right with Jake <laughs> interpreting everything. Because I would then have to look at her when I'm supposed to be looking at Jake. So it took us a couple of tries. So we were trying to get it together, just the two of us. And then we had uh, the director step in and pretend to be me. But that didn't really work because he's hearing. So he would be, you know, just doing gestures or talking as well. So I'm trying to follow. Line. I'm like, this isn't, this isn't working. Like, I, there were just little things that were getting lost in translation because once we weren't using the interpreter, it was like we kind of had to figure out for something. Then finally, it clicked. I was like, wait, my interpreter is also an actor, so and obviously she knows ASL. So she said she was being me, so it was like third time was a charm, and that's when things were uh, starting to actually click, right? And then we were just able to get through the shooting and there's a I, I, I see that there's a couple of things that um, got cut out but uh, <laughs> that bit where he says I'm gonna be right back and I look so confused I'm telling you right now I swear I don't remember that part <laughs> so my reaction has to be a genuine confusion and a genuine what <laughs> I love that part that's by far my favorite part I'm gonna have to message him and ask because <laughs> yeah, this. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at myself on the other screen to make sure my camera's still recording. But, um. But yeah, the crew was absolutely awesome. And, uh, last week we had the premiere party, and I, I went to Los Angeles. I flew all the way from Charlotte to Los Angeles. Just be able to see the first uh, three, ep one of the three episodes that they were showing. A Quiet Place wasn't one of them, but I didn't care. It was nice to see Jake and David again. And my interpreter even worked pro bono for the event. You know, the videos were obviously going to be captioned. Duh. But, um, you know, she worked pro bono so that I could, you know, follow along with everything else. That was really kind of her because we weren't able to get funding for her. I'm going to have to... Watch this it again and again and it shows to everybody. I am alive. He told me that uh, I was going to be one of the few YouTubers 
that were gonna be alive. And after the premiere uh, party, I made a joke about it again. I think he said, I think he said that I'm gonna have to die next time. I know I said I wanna die next time, because I would definitely wanna be on this show again. Doesn't even need to be a death row. Give me, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll audition for whatever. And uh, I wanna die next time, but don't give me a boy in death. Obviously, you couldn't kill off the one disabled person, the one deaf person. Uh, in your show. That would look horrible. <laughs> but next time, full rain, and I don't want a boy in death. I want an extravagant death or a strange death. I'll take either one. But um, we don't want any of the boring stuff. That was so much fun. I'm gonna watch this again and again. I'm, I'm proud of myself though. I was like, I've done one signing role for a, a film before, but it was just like one sign. The rest was something else. I haven't told that story yet. I really need to. But this is the first time I've done uh, uh, a signing role f for someone else's show and I was in nervous as hell and I was in nervous as hell to see what was gonna happen here you know I'm, I'm never I'm, I'm gonna be scared to see what the comments are like on that video <laughs> especially because we switched up languages here thank you Jake thank you Jake for god I'm gonna cry again thank you Jake for asking me to part of this it means more to me than you ever know and you know David Freaking fantastic and Caroline, my interpreter, because obviously you were a huge help that day, and especially because you came back for the premiere party and worked for free <laughs> to interpret. I owe you dinner for that. Uh, thank you to everyone who will be on Vsauce 3 watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't too terrible for you. And if you're watching this on my channel, if you come over from there, Hi, welcome, I hope you enjoy the wild ride that is my channel, and to those of you that have been with me for a while, I hope you enjoy the episode, I really do, and I hope I make you proud. Thank you for watching, I'm gonna go wash my face and watch this a million times more. Subscribe if you have not yet, I would love to have you, thank you for watching, and I will see you later, bye.